<laughs> oh my god, this game is amazing. I will buy you before teacher does. It's a dolphin shaped pendant. Ooh. Okay, so she's not dead. He was just like having some flashback and hallucinating. God damn it, Yuhi! Please be useful! Oh my god, no way. Hello and welcome, Pocket Watch here, and it's about time for another episode of Muramasa. Yeah, last time was pretty good episode, and plot tickets. Apparently, we are like around two, maybe three, depending on how much I will talk, uh, until the end of episode one. So I'm looking forward to it, and apparently, some crazy stuff is going to happen. Also, thanks, Yuki Yuki for reminding me where I heard the voice of teacher. Last time I heard him in Little Busters, which I also make a let's play, so if you want to check it out, add it in the description. His, his kioske voice, and makes perfect sense why I heard him last time. Also he have like amazing portfolio of like animes, acting and stuff. Anyway, let's just go to the Muramasa. Let's see. What crazy stuff will happen? After school, we feel Suzukawa in what we've learned so far. It was his idea. He wants to help, not just keep an eye on us. And of course, we welcome his support. Now I have the strange feeling someone ran their mouth of last night about how they were going to trust anyone ever again. Probably just my imagination. <laughs> Kid is the kid. どれバイバイとはな。まゆつばの話だが、笑い飛ばせはしないか。今の世情を思えば、笑い飛ばしたいところなんですけどね。本当にそうだとしたら、正直少しばかり厄介なんじゃないかと思うんで。海外へ運
And usually that duty falls to me. So is surprised, but not upset. He looks like the sniffing Konatsu as though saying her for the first time. Yep, that is correct.先生のお考えは違いますか?やっぱり生きることが一番重要、生命最強、命も悲惨地球ってわけですか? Huh. What the hell is the great cosmic scale? いや。人間ただ生きていればいいというものではないと思う。どう生きるかが重要だ。生きるならば良い生き方を志すべきだ。That's true. Otherwise, it would be just a plant. その結果が死であるとしても。まあ、クルスノに近い考え方だろうな。うん。えじゃあ、というか、だな。さっきのはそういう意味で言ったんではなく。鈴木アワラフシチン、looking Microphone right here. I will just put it a little bit away so maybe your eardrums will not get destroyed. I hope now will be better. You still can let me know in the comment which option is better. Unless I should go back to what I had before. So, what do you ロクハラがドレートして売却するために市民を拉致しているのなら、拉致した後はどうすると思う。ニッタ。はい。Damn, I definitely didn't expect him to start class in the middle of the street. After a second or two of panic, I instinctively snap to attention and say the first thing to come to my mind. えっと、それはまあ、国内でそんな商売をやってるとも思えませんから。I guess that's a good guess. Yeah, like probably they have like big shipment of people there. One person at a time. So that's what Suzukawa getting yet. So ka Hitori Goto ni Sonna Tema no Kakaru Koto Stirare Wakega Naikara, Kazga Atsmar Madewa, Kitto Kokunai no Toko Kani Kankin Sarete Iru Hazdate Koto Desne. Yep, makes sense. Oh, why do you always have to steal the spotlight? You have, you have it in for me or something? So you koto da na. Dore to yara ni ikura no nega tsuku no ka wa shiranai ga. Piston yusou de wa sai san ga umai shi, risk mo takaku naru. Doko ka hitome ni tsukanai basho ni soko ga aru hazu da. Tegakari o tadotte soko made yuki tsukereba. Okay. Aru i wa dou ni ka dekiru ka mo shiranai. Time to search for the warehouse, I guess. Suzukawa's voice is not as hopeful as it could be, and his expression remains solid. Still, I feel like everything makes sense now. Now that he spelled it out for us, I wonder why we didn't think of it sooner. It must be because we are just kids. For it pains me to admit, I was afraid to really think about Ritsu being sold into slavery. So I missed what should have been obvious. Yep, kids being kids, right? Who can I help? Like, who can I help like this? I have to be willing to face the truth, even when it hurts. Hope and shame battle inside me. I get the impression that Ayasu feels the same, even though his face is totally blank. Konatsu, on the other hand, is absolutely beside herself. She's, she's already onto him. This is like best face. オーバーだな、クルスノは。特に奇抜な発想を披露したわけじゃないぞ。いや、やっぱり先生は違います。この玩具ビスレート無駄に空気吸って光合成してるだけで本心勝ちの元はもう何もかも。私先生のこと信じ
it's like so out of place that it makes it so funny. <laughs> it's thing that almost doesn't fit here, but for some reason it actually fits. <laughs> this is amazing. So, so good. Also, I think I blew my microphone once again. God damn it. Maybe I put it like a little bit actually too loud. Well, it is what it is. I hope it's going to turn out good. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Oh, he even had like band-aid here. So he as well. Looks like Shane triggers Konatsu Berserk mold. mold. <laughs> as we start walking, Suzuka continues. Though it sounded almost like he's talking to himself. どれ貿易なんてものが本当にあるのかはわからないにしても、自分の国をここまで信頼できないとは譲れは白昼堂々と奴隷売買が行われるような国になってしまうかもしれない。まあ、もし、私はこの世界を変えるのかもしれない。私
Really serious topic, and now we are just wanting the pure comedy. Wow! Just wow. I love it. This writing is amazing. I'm starting to think we should make a run for it. Warning! Adding Suzukawa? Desperate bo- uh... Wait, what? Warning, adding Suzukawa, desperate bootlicking, and generally concern to uh, Kurosuno Konatsu can cause her to explode. Do not mix. <laughs> Suzukawa chuckles at our antics, then looks away, his expression unreadable. <laughs> Oh. I wonder if I will make a serious title for this video? Or I will make a joke title for this video? Or maybe both. Hmm. That was kinda... Let me just check it one more time. The few things we put it that remain, no matter what. Yeah. That's the sentence that he would tell after losing like his daughter and uh and wife. Trailer a few things beauty that remain. No matter what. I wonder if if he regrets something. Maybe he wasn't in that good terms, actually, with his daughter and wife, and then they died. And then he realized that he didn't treasure them as he should. Maybe th maybe that's... Th it, it sounds like that for me, at least. Yeah. We lead Suzukawa to the circle of severed sto uh, stalks within the bamboo groove.風間の姿が最後に確認されたのがこの竹林。ほぼ同時刻に武者らしき影の目撃報告。そして港という景観はこの荒れ様を見て武者の仕業だと断定したのか。そんな様子でしたね。根拠は、えっと、なんて言って
So there might be a second passer somewhere. Hmm. Dokoza no ninja yashiki datten nara tomo kaku. Tada no takebayashi. Tanaka no jii san nara shinryu sha gekitai yo ni itsu no manika hotte te mo shiki jan nai kedo ne. Iya. そんなまだるっこしいものを作るくらいならガトリングガンでも配備するんじゃないかなあの人は。Probably true.Yep, whenever he would actually do it, do it is one thing. But I can definitely see him choosing the more aggressive option. Better watch for spike bits. そうか。まあいい。Sukawa still seems unsure about something. But he stands and gives us our next mission away. 手分けして手がかりを探そう足跡なんかは今さら無理だろうが犯人なり風間なりの遺留品なら見つけられるかもしれない了解っす、hmm. What did I do such a mistake though? Tadayasu, Konatsu and Suzukawa head off into the groove They must be going slow and careful because the only sound I hear is the soft rustling of bamboo leaves beneath their feet I stay at the scene to check for anything we might have missed. Unlike Tadayasu, who can read a textbook from the other side of our classroom, my eyesight is absolutely average. I don't want to miss anything, so I get down on all fours and crawl. It sucks, but I've got to do what you've got to do, what you've got to do. It is what it is. As soon as my face touches the dirt, a sense of deja vu washes over me. I've been in this position before. When was I? Oh yeah. It was when we were playing tag in the woods behind the school. I was crawling through the underbush to get away from Ritsu. Who was it? She f she found me, of course. But that was the worst tagging I'd ever exper experienced. Suddenly, this great weight dropped onto my back, crushing me to the ground. <laughs> If you would be like a little bit less aggressive, I think I would love you. Just be a little bit less aggressive, please. You know, it's a bad memory when you start shouting at it. At it like a lady listening to soaps on the radio. What the hell is wrong with Ritsu anyway? I look up, needing some sun to relieve the depression triggered by the sudden flashback. At that moment, something catches my eye. Small and white, I take it for a stone at first glance. Oh. I recognize it. It's a dolphin shaped pendant. Ooh. The one that always hangs from Ritsu's bag. Okay, so you got kind of direction where they went. I pick it up. Definitely hers. It's only the head. The cat is perfectly smooth, just like the bamboo. Oh, wait. She's still alive, right? It seems like they cut through like her uh, bug, at least. At second glance, it's a rather horrifying sight. No, no way, she, no way she's there. No way she's actually dead. No way. My microphone is also blowing your eardrums probably now. I'm just going to put it like this. A stench of blood fills my nostrils. For an instant, the dolphin's severed head takes on the features of my friend. I close my face tight around the keepsake. The vision persists. I shut my eyes. Now there's no darkness. Good. Darkness is good. Right now, I don't want to see anything. Okay, so she's not dead. He was just like having some flashback and hallucinating. Oh my god. <laughs> when I snap out of it, Suzukawa is there, looking curiously at my clenched fist. I can't bring myself to speak of what I found. 
it's not like I it will help us find her anyway. Wait, what? Really? God damn it, Yuhi! Please be useful! I mean, you were useful, kinda. In the... like... Yakuza situation. Do you actually stand up and try to protect your friends? So, yeah, but still, god damn it. Why? You, you're just looking for clues and... It's not like... <sighs> going to... Let us find it anyway. Why? It's on some place and it's probably on the way to like where she was taken. <sighs> Maybe the teacher would know like from where is the dolphin. Maybe you could go and ask about her in this place. Suzukawa doesn't pursue it through, uh, though I can tell he knows something wrong. He just glances one more at my fist, then look away. Uh, I know, I know, I know, Yohi is just a kid. Yes, I know, I'm trying to understand that. And look at it from his perspective as well. God damn it! Kawa? Ooh, we have a secret passage here. Underground river, it, ne it needs some kind of exit on the other side. As always, Tadayasu hits the nail on the head. Suzukawa has led us to the gentle sh slope leading up the slide of Mount. Genjiyama, there's no opening in the slope, like a miniature volley, or perhaps a yawing mouth. Inside, I see water rushing past. It's flowing pretty fast, and the water looks deep. An underground water vein must have broken through the surface. They say rivers like this are everywhere beneath the surface of the earth. Okay. No matter where you are in the groove, you can always hear the sound of running water. Come to think of it, it's a little too loud to be from Benton River, which is at least half kilometer away, and it's usually very quiet. Probably the case. Tadayasu seems impressed, so am I. You never know what you will find in your own backyard. I'm assuming Suzukawa didn't bring us here to deliver a lecture on geology. In which case, he thinks this could be the hidden passage he was talking about. Thank you, Yuhi. You have some intelligence in you. Through the opening. True. The opening does look big enough to allow a grown man passage, as does the tunnel itself. But the current is pretty intense, and I would expect uh, the going to be rough. I'm not sure this will be an effective escape route. Hmm. Of course. Yep. Even while carrying another person, for a Musha, granted superhuman strength by his Tsurugi, the fate would probably be as effortless as flying. You are jumping to conclusions, but I think this is the best, like clue you have so far どこかに逃げていったんだ。絵面を想像すると滑稽なんだけれど、なんていうか笑うに笑えない感じだな。どんなやつなんだろうね。地元の人間だな。That's actually a very good assumption. 
because he knows about this place. He knew exactly where this river like goes and goes out. So he either made like a really really good like scan of the area before uh, going to work basically, or he's actually local. Suzukawa's so response takes the Yasuo by surprise. His statement must have been purely rhetorical. Yep. Yep. He looks troubled, not uh, a common expression for him. The like Hitamper is local. In, in other words, someone we might know. Anyone who is General Kuhara can be decent sort. He is probably a Nogiyama man or someone in the same line of work. But none of that changes the fact that he's from Kamakura. Though, not a friend. He's still the same breed, you could say. Until now, Rokuhura has been a faceless enemy in my mind, a simple image against which I could direct my head. But what if that enemy has a face? The face of someone I know. Konatsu speaks up, her gaze focused on the dark river, as though she didn't hear what Suzukawa said. Small chance of that. What if he did that at night when there's like no people at shrine? Unless the shrine is like populated with people all the time. The Dayasu and I follow Konatsu lead. Uh, lead. Suzukawa drops the topic, not wanting to depress us. では上流か。どこから流れてきているか。大体の冊子は作る。現地山の頂上ですか?だとは思うが、そんなところへ出ても接近詰めだろう。そこまで行く前に、ここと似たような場所があるはずだ。それは?心当たりはある。行くぞ
立ち入り禁止区画って書いてあるなそれにしては警備員もいないね That's weird. 警備なんかしなくたってこんなとこ誰もわざわざ来ないでしょ True To reach this place, we had to trek up steep mountain paths The remnants of what were once functional growths I can't imagine anyone hiking all this way for fun 先生、ここなんですかあ,あ、あっちに He points at the face of the mountain 竹林にあったのと同じような地下水脈が地表に現れている場所がある Is it just me? Or I feel like this is bad idea to... Go into like so close to the hidden path where potentially dangerous Musha resi resides. I have a feeling like this is a bad idea. But what, what can you do in this situation? You cannot rely on police, on any like external force. Like, I don't know. I guess the By their perspective, they could like report this to Minato, basically. But still, I don't know. Oh. I can't see anything from here. Though, if I strain to listen, I catch a faint sound that could be running water. And the... こうみたいに見えますけどそれにしては小さくないだな長屋じゃないのかいや稲城の言う通りだ校舎だようちの学校の校舎だ、oh. えそうなんですか ?OK I've never heard of this place ずっと昔の話だがな今の場所に移転する前はここにあったんだ Not gonna lie He got us in the first part あ、なるほどそういえば以前そんな話をどっかで小耳に挟んだような気全然しない<笑> OK なら言うな<笑> yeah, sure. 先生が子供の頃の話だからな知らなくて当然だあ、oh, OK よく今まで残ってましたね経費はかかるが利益のない撤去作業を誰もやりたがらなかったというだけのことだろうもう皆ここに校舎があることなど忘れたいつか自然に崩れ落ちるまでフランスズキャラエクスプレッション is hard to tell how he feels about the ruin of his old school there is emotion there but before I can this,、uh, this care in his nature he starts down the hill to the derelict building The building has been abandoned for decades. The roof might collapse at any moment, which is probably why this no trespassing sign is here. But that is only a minor concern. If Suzuka guesses right, the kidnapper is using this building to store his victims. I doubt he lives here, but you never know. Either way, world's again unprepared. Can be the smartest plan. Suzukawa, however, ignores my warning and approaches the building. The three of us exchange worried looks. After a few seconds, though, Tatayasu shrugs and heads after Suzukawa. Konatsu and I follow close behind. Guess there's no turning back now. Upon setting foot inside the old school, the smell of dust, mold, and rotting timber surrounds me. This I was prepared for. They are what you always get when you enter an old, unused building. But this stench, this rotten, pervasive stink that drowns all, throws out all the others. What is it? Are there bodies? I've smelled、uh, it's like before and often. At home, at school, sometimes by the roadside. <sighs> Their bodies. Little by little, my eyes grow accustomed to the dim light. Huh? That's how the room appears. 
There are no chairs or desks. They were probably taken when the school was closed. As if they were this... But if there were, this room could pass as a functional if the crept classroom. I don't see Suzukawa anywhere, but there are four large boxes sitting where the uh, lactern would be. As though to fill in for our teacher. Four boxes. Are there like four bodies or are there like more bodies just crammed together inside? What if... Oh my god, what if like... What, what if like people are getting like abducted, put into these boxes and closed down? And basically, they will sell the ones that will survive. Like, you just stay here and wait. And if you die, then it's not our problem, basically. So the guys who are alive inside are alive beside the bodies of dead people. What the fuck? I don't know why, but... It's, it's, I think it's just my brain. I don't think that's the case. But I feel like there are bodies. Maybe they're just disposing the bodies, actually. The one who died. So there's like no proof. But why would you do that? But why would you do that in the boxes like this? Is it easier to just dig them underground? I guess. The stench seems to be coming from there. It's the smell of many different r things rotting, like a landfill, maybe. I have a bad feeling. No shit. We're standing here chatting because we don't want to see what's inside. The only good thing that smells bad are cut grass, cheese and durians. By and large, anything that stinks is likely to be unpleasant. But with Suzukawa elsewhere, and wandering around a poor idea, investigating the smell is our only proactive option. Just standing here isn't going to make us feel any better. Fine, I will take one for the team. I creep out to the row of boxes, half expecting a horde of rats or something to burst out the second I approach. The boxes are plastic, the cover is unlocked. Looks like they lift right off. So there are no, not living people inside, okay, thank god. <laughs> I mean, on the other hand, that means that we have only dead bodies there. And no one survived. Shit. I tap the side of the... One of the box timidly. I hear a so soft sloshing. Tadayasu knows who's right on the money. I set my fingers under the lid. And I take a deep breath. Hold it and throw the box open. Inside I find I find just about the last thing I expected. Yuhi. Konatsu and Tadayasu are pinching their noses, ready for whatever horrible thing I might uncover. Sorry to disappoint them. Hanada. Okay. Okay. This is not bad. It's just flowers. So like whatever. But why they're in the boxes? Huh? Like what? A box of flowers? The hell? The box is full to the brim with water and flower petals. Cover the surface. The flowers are purple. Cosmos. The sort you can find growing anywhere. They approach, still pinching their noses, as if they don't believe me. I'm just about to reach the limit of holding my breath. I inhale, slowly and carefully. The first thing I smell is some kind of chemical, 
This isn't just a regular water. And then? What happened? What happened? I nearly passed out right there. What the? What the hell is this smell? It stinks to high heaven. No worse than that. How can I describe it? It is violence. Pure olfactory violence. Assaulting my nostrils like a physical blow. The stench is so terrible. So unimaginably pu putrid that for an instant my mind was unable to register it. Just like when you touch the boiling kettle and it takes a second to scream. Are the flowers just to like actually hide the bodies that are inside? Maybe they just like hide the bodies through the water there and then they put like tons of flowers out so you don't see the bodies. But wait, what? Why would anyone do that? What? Why? What's the point? I never smelled anything like this before. No, I have. W which is it? I don't know to smell, but I know what it means. It means... It, it means... The stench must have shorted out my brain. The world tears beneath my feet. My falling body fails for, pur for purchase. And my hand catches the edge of the box. It topples, spilling its contents across the floor. It comes like a tidal wave washing over me. Oh, oh! I wonder if the water is actually blood or something. What is it? Flowers, water, and something else. What is that? A uniform. Oh my God! No way. So she's dead, I think. A uniform, a school uniform. Our school. Girl's uniform. You recognize it? Of course. It's from our school. That's not why. And then a bug. Oh my god. I wonder if there's body. I wonder if there's body or not. If there is no body, then there's still no proof that she's dead. It just means that... She is basically taken away without like her belongings. And then a bag, a school bag. And hanging from the strap, part of a dolphin. Yep. Connors is shouting something. Shut up, will you? Can't you see I'm trying to think? Where was I? Uh, right. Uh, a uniform. Uh, a uniform and school bag. And then... What? What What else is there? There's something inside the uniform. Uh, what is that? Shit, who's the asshole waving his hand in my face? I'm trying to see here. Dayasu? No, he's sitting on the floor over there. What the hell you're doing? You're... God, get your ass dirty. I can see. Damn it, whose hands are these? Oh, that they're my hands. Out of the way, hands. I'm trying to see here. Now you're fucking with me, too, neck. Stop turning away. Look at it, man. There's no something there. There's something there. What is it? A uniform? And inside the uniform. Something splashes across the thing. Is this puke? Who did this? Get a hold of yourself. The pig doesn't change, how it, how it looks much, though it was pretty nasty to begin with. All black and pink and white and grey, there's an awful lot of grey, but despite all the colours, I recognize it. It still has the same shape, so I can tell it's a person. A person I know. I've been looking for you. Wait, so there is actually body. Oh. There you are. 
It's you, right? Right? Say something. Ritsu. The dolphin has no head. Wow, so there was actually body, right? Awful lot of grey. I have no idea it has the same shape. It's a person. Yeah. So she's dead, actually. I think that's one of the crazy stuff that you were talking about in the comments last time. I guess I will end now. And maybe I will do the next episode a little bit longer, because I feel like this is a good place to stop. So yeah. We just found Ritsu. And... Take a while. And let's think about this. So thank you for being with me for today's episode. Thank you for listening to me. And I will see you in the next one. So for now, Pocket Watch is going out.